Today we're going to go over some tips and tricks for the camera. In IronCAD, as you may know, F3 is the orbit function. It allows you to rotate within the scene as you can see here. Although, there is added functionality to the orbit function here. So, if we select orbit F3 and hold down the Alt key, we're able to rotate the part about an axis. And if we select shift, we're able to rotate about the vertical or horizontal axis of the scene. As you can see here. Another thing we're able to achieve with the orbit function here is to rotate about an axis incrementally by 45 degrees. In order to do that uh, about a, a, a vertical or horizontal axis of, of the actual assembly here, we would once again F3 to get our orbit. We would select Alt and this time Control. And when we rotate, you can see that it rotates incrementally by 45 degrees. And the same is also true for the shift key. If you'd like to rotate incrementally about an axis um, of the scene. And you see these, these camera tricks uh, with the orbit feature here uh, may be useful in more of a, a design or a display um, type of use here but um, in terms of uh, presentation or sales and marketing material and you need to generate images um, there's a there's another tip that I have for you here that you can go ahead and look at and this time we're gonna go ahead and edit the background of the scene and uh, apply our our cone here to kind of highlight the the assembly within the scene gonna make sure that's on smooth and as you can see here it kind of highlights your assembly and uh, and allows you to to show detail but also have it in a in a background that that would work well for uh, images and presentations um, another thing we could do here to get some unique views uh, would be to go to our active camera here and uh, we're gonna right click and go to camera properties and under camera properties we're gonna make sure that we have perspective selected and then we're gonna edit our field of view angle to 45 degrees Once we've done that, um, you can see uh, that now we're at a 45 degree view angle and now in order to get some of the detail of, of the, the inner workings of our assembly here, I'm going to go ahead and control F7, our target function, and I'm going to select our center piece and next I'm going to use the dolly function. Um, and it's important to note with the dolly function um, that you will actually be moving the camera forward um, towards the targeted uh, location. So as you can see here, when we dolly in, um, it really does give us a, uh, a unique view here. Um, and uh, because we selected our perspective, we can also see the depth of our assembly here as well. Um, with uh, the dolly function selected, we can target once again and select more geometry 
so that we can dolly in further and as you dolly in here you really see that um, you can get some 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 fairly detailed views um, that are quite unique uh, in that they're they're different from uh, a lot of your your regular uh, isometric views um, once we're we're in here as well we can also target our centerpiece here and uh, I'm going to select orbit once again and this time we're going to hold our alt key and we're going to rotate vertically along the vertical axis of our part here and it kind of shows you the the kind of things that you can accomplish with the camera um, within IronCAD and there you have it